Afternoon, everybody, and thanks uh, for joining us once again for another Vanilla IP webinar. Um, again, this one is related to the launch of new products, and I'm delighted to be bringing to you today uh, an enhancement for all customers who are using CRM with the launch of our Go Into Greater product. Um, for those of you who uh, haven't been on our webinars before, if you go to the Vanilla IP website, you'll see that through the course of the year, We've done a number of new product and, and service uh, webinars to introduce you to uh, the solutions that you can take to marketplace for the benefit of your customer. Uh, today we're adding in the Go Integrator launch and that will also become available on the Vanilla IP website. But do please take the opportunity to go back through and have a look at things like the Akixi product, the education and charity user, um, there's a lot of great products out there that can help you win more business and, and, and help you increase the revenues uh, within your organization. So today we're talking about CTI, uh, the computer telephony integration. We're talking about uh, what value that can add to your customers. And really and truly, we're, we're hitting on a couple of the major hotspots of our industry at the moment, which is the customer experience that your customers deliver to their customers. We're also talking about staff productivity, and these are really the key areas of benefit which this product allows you to focus on. Clearly within that, you've got accuracy of information, you've got management reporting, and you've got uh, uh, op optimizing the investment that people have already made in technology, both the telephony and, and uh, cloud communication side that you've provided to them, but also that, uh, uh, that CRM that they brought into the business to try and increase their own performance. So we've got that, and with the Go Integrator product, and we brought in the DB product, uh, from Go Integrator, uh, you've got a very simple access to over 60 CRM um, uh, options out there, 60 CRM packages. Um, there are variants within some of the brand names that you'll see later on. Um, but this means that uh, you're, you're in a good position to go to the general marketplace, existing customers or new prospects and ask the question about their CRM, ask the question about whether they're using a CRM and then through a simple interface with a product that's pretty easy to install, you can deliver this additional benefit and the automation of the process is there within UBOSS to help you to do that. Um, as a salesperson, I would highlight that genuinely this is the type of product that's got the easiest return on investment. So again, well worth bringing it into the conversation as it adds to the value of your overall proposition that you take to market. Where does it fit for us in the in the vanilla IP portfolio? Well, you know that we have got the Unity products within our range. We, you know that we've got the Unity Lite as part of the core smart users. So, we have only brought in the uh, vanilla I, uh, into vanilla IP the the the, the DB the, the the sort of database license. There is a light license for those of you who already have a, a relationship with Mondigo. Um, we're not bringing that one in because it's, 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 it's too substitutional for the Unity license that you're already getting as part of your package. So if it's merely system control uh, and call control you're looking for, let's just stay with the Unity, uh, Unity proposition now. But clearly Mondigo, the Go Integrator product, is, is a market leader in, in CRM integration uh, and it gives you a very slick and simple way of going out into that marketplace. So what we're going to do is we're going to risk everything as normal. We're going to dart into uh, a demonstration, and that means my phone being on live. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, just pull up my phone and take it off. Do not disturb. And uh, what you'll see now is down here on my system tray, uh, I have my integrated, uh, my Go Integrator uh, product uh, available to me. I'm just going to walk through a couple of the uh, the elements uh, of this product. Um, and again, you'll see from this, uh, from a point of view of comparing it with Unity, a lot of this is substitutional. But if you are going to put this app into play for CRM integration, then clearly you probably don't want to have the Unity products uh, coming up live on, on the PC at the same time. You don't need two app products doing the same job. First thing to show you is the toolbar, which is effectively that darling control that you'd expect to have. And that can sit neatly at the top of your screen if you want to have it out there live all the time. 
Uh, alternatively, you can just bring it up when it's required. Um, the presence um, box that you can see, this is as you'd expect. Here are, uh, here are my colleagues, here, Cindy's on the phone, it's red. Um, uh, but the normal presence identification that you can see there and you can have a, a good chunk of your, uh, your colleagues on there uh, at any one time. Um, if I then just drop back in, call settings again you're used to with the Unity products being able to go in and change the broad work settings if you like. So there's your broad works anywhere setting, here's your remote office option. So all of those things that you're used to uh, being able to play with in the Unity space are available to you there. Um, I'm, I'm going to just jump over the address book just for a moment and, uh, and leave core history. Core history is as you would expect it and uh, as it is in Unity. I'm just going to go into the configuration box here and you can see that this, once you've downloaded the app, is the area in which you change the settings relating to Go Integrator. And the first thing that we'll focus on here is, is that you've got this CRM inter integration capability. Now, You'll see here that I've already integrated my Outlook, I've already integrated Salesforce, but for the purposes of demonstration, if I click New, it's going to bring a drop-down selection box up to give me this vast array of, of, of different brand names that I can uh, come into. If I pick uh, Team Leader as an example, not a product I'm familiar with, but uh, if I select that because that's what the customer is requiring, um, then it gives me the setup template that I'm going to have to fill in. Because you've got so many, you'd expect this to have a pretty slick way to bring up information. So again, that little question mark in the corner will bring you the integration guide and your step-by-step -step opportunity to work through the integration with the customer's product. So again, for those CRMs which are catered for within the uh, Mondago product, it's, uh, it's all pretty easily there for you to play with. Just bring configuration up again. Um, we're going to do some test calls, but before I do, let me just show you that uh, I can uh, run through here and set up my call events. I'm selecting here for uh, outbound calls, and, and this doesn't necessarily include um, uh, uh, colleague calls, um, but I can, uh, I can elect to automatically pop a screen um, uh, when I've got an inbound call coming in. So as I show you the demonstrations, just to show you where the, the application is being set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my directory up here uh, and I'm going to go for my address book. Uh, and you'll see that uh, while I was practicing, I've already put uh, Amy's details in here. But just so you can see uh, the uh, process running through, if I put a name into here, uh, and I press uh, this, that will bring me up the options that are shown in Outlook, the options that are shown in uh, the Salesforce CRM and in the other directory that I happen to be connected to um, through the Broadworks process. If I make an outbound call to Amy, it's going to present the call to my device. Uh, you can hear a phone ringing in the background. Now I'm not using my primary device, so um, uh, the secondary device options are, uh, are slightly different. But you can see that I've got a live call happening now with, uh, with Amy. Um, and I've got uh, my uh, ability here um, with the CRM boxes to either pop a Salesforce record or to just make a record about the call, or I can pop an Outlook record. But we'll pop the uh, Salesforce record there, and you can see that's driving us directly into that environment. If on the other hand, uh, I oh Amy's ended the call. There you go. That's uh, that's my assistant working for me. If I uh, if I drive a call the other way, however, um, and uh, I'll just open up my phone and bring it in from a separate uh, separate number, we can look at the automated process uh, for our CRM. So here comes an inbound call. I'm going to accept it. It's from this record here, this known customer, and you can see that the CRM is popping the screen in the background. So all pretty rudimentary stuff as you'd expect. You're simply linking the, uh, the uh, telephone system to the CRM system that you're operating and delivering a pretty slick experience for the customer. So while I'm just, uh, while I'm just in here, I just wanted to show you a couple of the, um, uh, a couple of the uh, details that, uh, that have been sent through. You, you will have received uh, this email from the marketing team. Um, if you haven't uh, received it or you've lost it, do please ask your account manager or the marketing team to resend to you. But within that, you've got access to marketing materials. 
um, and the marketing materials uh, that you'll want to, to gather through. Uh, in the technical section, you've got uh, a reseller setup guide, so you can see from here. You've also got a, a, another guide um, uh, uh, that you can access, but on here you'll see that you've got the uh, download URL. You can click on that and, and get the download file that you need for um, the product. So again, it's it, it's 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 a low demand sort of a product. It's it's a very simple solution to bring into play. I'll just go back onto the um, the presentation to finish off. Um, but it's worth remembering that what you've given yourself, what you've given your sales team, is access to a, a wide range of out of the box solutions to integrate with people's CRMs and to give this efficiency. Uh, uplift. It's, a, it's an easy single user product to deploy, it's an easy return on investment sale and you're delivering to them a recognized worldwide leader in Broadsoft CTI uh, services. Um, so all in all, uh, whilst we're delighted with the Unity product and, and what it can deliver to the customers, here is another string to your bow, here is another clear and easy opportunity to show that you are a provider of choice and a provider of true cloud solutions. How much is it? Uh, I hear you cry, the Go Integrator. This is the simplest pricing point I've ever had to make in a demonstration uh, of uh, vanilla IP services. The Go Integrator user license has a wholesale price of £2.50 per month. Um, and as I said, you've got the solutions guides available from the marketing team. Uh, voice Start, um, sorry it's not up uh, just now, but uh, there are some changes going on in the Voice Start to uh, integrate a, a number of new uh, brochures and, and bits of information to you uh, that will be coming through. So within the next three weeks, you'll have the full portfolio caught up to date along with some new stuff that's going in there as well. Um, so bear with us on that. But again, the marketing team have sent through to you uh, an easy access guide set um, that you can use. So that's pretty much it. If you've got a CRM yourself, why not get the product down, test it? The easiest way to sell these things is to have it uh, being utilized in, in your uh, business itself. Obviously, uh, there is um, sort of availability of some videos, including this, but do reach out to us if we need to find another way of helping you articulate either to an existing customer base um, or through to um, your prospect base. But again, for those of you who were uh, at the um, a partner event in Snowdonia this year, this is the type of product that we're bringing through to you so that you can layer on revenue and grow the success of your service delivery to your customer base. Um, I'm reliably told we don't have any questions on the back of this, which either means I'm faultless or my voice has lulled you into slumber. But thank you very much indeed for taking the time once again to join us at Vanilla IP. And we look forward to seeing you again very soon with uh, another one of our product webinars.